2024. Hmm, what are we gonna do? Hey, welcome back. I'm Michelle, and today I'm talking about all my art goals for 2024. Alright guys, how are you? Today I thought I would do a quick video on what are my goals um, for 2024 in art and business because a lot of the times they're one and the same. I just wanted to do a quick chat. I hope I won't waffle on too long for you guys. I'm all comfy. I got my coffee. We're ready to go. I've got my list. So let's get right to it. So I have divided up my art goals into kind of two two sections. The first one is more about feeling, like the feelings I want to have and the things like probably emotionally and mentally that I want to think about this year. And then the second part is the more of the doing and the action oriented, action oriented um, things that I'd like to do for my art business this year. So first things first, we've got how I want to feel this year. And this more pertains to my art in general. And the first thing is to remind myself to enjoy the process. Now, this is something that I talk about all the time and I mention it quite often. And I really have to remind myself as well as try to um, like remind other people that you have to enjoy the process of making the art and kind of be in the moment and remember that art is supposed to be fun and enjoyable and that's why we do it and not a chore or something that has to be done like that's what your nine to five job is for that's not fun that's something that we have to do but creating art and creating anything in general is a fun process it's why we're here we're created to create that's our job <laughs> so we have to enjoy what we're doing if we're not doing it then don't then just don't spend time doing it just spend time doing the things that make your heart happy that make your soul happy that you don't realize how much time has flown by while you're doing it those are the things that you want to do more of this year and so i'm reminding myself even if i'm doing art for um, a business purpose like to make an income with i still want to enjoy what i'm doing so i'm not going to be making art um, for income that I don't enjoy doing. That's not the kind of art that I want to create. So this is something I want to remind myself uh, throughout the year as I'm creating anything. Um, and even these YouTube videos, I love creating these videos. I don't do them as much as I should, but I like creating them. And when I do them, it's a fun process for me. So I want to keep doing more of that. Um, so the second thing is I want to play around and experiment and have more fun with making art um, and try different things. Um, I would like to get better at watercolor this year. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I have um, been doing a lot with uh, colored pencils, with gouache, a little bit of acrylic. Um, those are the mediums that I have used a lot and then digital um, the last half of the year I've done a lot of digital work which I really enjoyed but there are things that I still want to play around and do more of I'd like to do large um, acrylic canvases I would love to get better at watercolor and I would really love to um, learn uh, get better at um, at uh, ha like handwriting like art writing what do you call it <laughs> font making no I don't know what you call it lettering hand lettering um, I my handwriting sucks and there's so many beautiful quotes and stuff that I would love to illustrate but my lettering sucks and I don't necessarily want to use some some type font that's already made I'd love to be able to create those beautiful uh, hand letters myself so that's something that I really want to work on this year as well so what's next I want to be content where I am, but also be excited about the future. So I have a really bad habit of always living in the future and thinking, well, if I only do this, then I'll be happy. If I only can create this, then I'll be happy. If I'm doing that, then I'll be happy. But I'm actually have a lot to be thankful for and grateful for and be happy for in the moment that I'm living in right now. I'm doing a lot of great things that I love. You know, I'm lucky that even though I do have to work a nine to five right now, 
that I'm able to do it only three days a week instead of five um, for the moment anyway. And it's a job that I didn't love before, but now I don't mind it as much as I've been able to change roles in it. So I'm happy that I'm still able to do that while thinking about all the fun stuff that I'd like to create for my life in my future. So that's good. And I'm, I'm, you know, happy that I get to make so much art right now that I'm making art almost every day, whether it, um, it's sitting on my couch at night drawing on my iPad or I'm making YouTube videos or just creating whatever I want to create. And um, I'm enjoying that I do have time to work on that stuff now. And so I am enjoying where I am in this life, but I also have in the back of my mind all the other things that I'd like to be doing down the road and trying to have the patience to know that they will come and I can't do everything at once. And it's like baby steps and I'm doing one thing now and maybe next month I'll start doing a little bit of something else until a year from now my life might look a lot different than it does now. It might not, I don't know, but I still am happy in the moment that I'm in right now as opposed to living in the future when I think things will be better than they are. So I'm really trying to think about that. And the next thing is that I want to be brave and share my voice more. So I'm one of those people that has a hard time saying things out loud to people because I think like most of us, we're afraid of the judgment of what will people think when I say something or do something and they'll say, oh my God, what is she talking about? Or she's way too old to be on social media or I'm sure it's not true, but those are the thing. Like we all make up these stories in our head of reasons why that we we don't put it out there. We don't say what we want to say. We don't use our voice um, just to share our thoughts and feelings and maybe help and inspire other people. And it's something that's deep, deep down in my soul that I really want to help inspire other people um, to be doing things that make them happy. And this is why I started this channel in the first place was to document my journey, but also to encourage and inspire other people that have been thinking the same thing for a long time, but just kept putting off and putting off doing something that they have always wanted to do, something that they love and that like creating and making art and all those things that they've been dreaming of, but they've been stuck in a place where they haven't done it yet. So I really want to use my voice. I want to put myself out there more, whether it's on Instagram or making more videos or just getting things out there to the universe in general. So I'm going to work on my throat chakra this year <laughs> and start speaking more. So whether you like it or not, you might hear more of me. <laughs> um, and, you know, come check me out on Instagram. I'm going to hope to be posting a lot more there um, and be a little more consistent on there and just put a little more information and fun stuff out there, a little more of my life and not just pictures of my art, but get to know people and start to grow a community that I can have a conversation with. So that's one of my goals for that. And then the last thing um, regarding my art is just creating the work that I want to see in the world. So it's great to get inspiration from, from, you know, everywhere, like everywhere around you, there's beautiful art and design and beautiful things and just making art that I would maybe want to put in my house or that I would want to see on products, or just creating art that I love and not worrying about necessarily what other people want to see. I feel like if I have a point of view with my art or I'm making something that I like, then Hopefully there's a few other people that like it and if they don't well, then I just keep that art to myself But the whole point of art is just to create uh, make things that come from your heart and your mind and your and your thoughts um, and Everything we make is a reflection of our experience in the world So of course we're all going to be inspired and influenced by things we see and obviously no one should copy anyone else but I've seen a lot of great um, like styles that I 
can try, like I think it's good for everyone to try things and see if that's something that resonates with them or that's something they can incorporate into the way that they work. Um, and we're all influenced by something else. There's nothing new in this world. We are all, you know, taking references from things that have happened before, things that are around us. So it's just how we interpret it into our own way of doing things. So those are all my feels around art. And then the next category is the doing side of things. And number one for there is to offer my art for purchase. So it's the first step of, you know, wanting to make an income from my art and eventually being a full-time artist is I need to offer my art <laughs> so people can buy it and give me money in exchange for my creativity. So in November, I did start... Um, selling some prints on Etsy, which I was excited about. And these were all basically my digital art that I've been working on. I haven't posted any of my older stuff, like my gouache or watercolor or pencil um, images yet, but I'm thinking that maybe I will add them down the road. Um, but I did, I started that in November. So we'll see, it's been slow but it's been, there's been strangers buying my art, like spending their money on something that I created, which I'm super grateful and thankful for. And it's excited when you, when you see that sale come up on Etsy and you're like someone that I don't know has purchased my stuff. Like that's like a thrill. It's a thrill for me. So, I mean, you have to start somewhere and this is just the beginning. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm currently selling art prints with print on demand because I don't have all the stuff I need to print them myself. Plus I'm trying to make it as easy as possible and this is the easiest way possible because I can list them and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. I have a print provider that prints and ships the prints for me and it's really kind of a no-brainer for now. Hopefully down the road I can be in a position where I can buy a really nice printer and invest in all the materials. Uh, and print and ship them myself because I do like sending physical products where I can control how the branding is and how people are receiving it. But right now, this is just like, just get in and start and then we can change as we go. So I was really proud of myself for doing that. So in 2024, I wanna to continue to add more art um, available to purchase for people. So that's the number one thing of my doing and the second thing is that I really want to be more consistent here on YouTube. So I know there's been times like in the fall where I've only managed to get one video out in a month, but the the fall was hard, y'all. Like there was a lot going on and I really wanted to get to it, but I just didn't have the time. And there's a lot of a lot of um content that I'd still like to create for you guys, whether you like it or not. Um but I have fun doing it and I'm hoping this year that I can get into more of a, um, like a schedule and get in the groove and start creating at least two to three videos per month, at least two, like minimum two, four would be great, but I don't know that I have the time right now to do one every week, maybe, but minimum two, so say two to four. So that's my goal for YouTube. So also with YouTube, um, one of the, my goals not only is to be consistent on here, but to get monetized because that would help. Um, and so I need to get a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, which I am more than halfway to in both areas, which is amazing. Thank you everybody that watches my videos and likes and subscribes and comments. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this but also I've been doing a lot of work putting out videos and um, at some point it'd be nice to maybe have it make it worthwhile. I, I'm sure it will eventually, but um, the whole point in, in creating, like the content creation is to grow this platform. Everything that I'm doing, if my art business is, and YouTube is just part of it, is one arm of it, is to eventually let go of my nine to five so that I can just create for a living and get paid for it. And YouTube is one of those opportunities that you can get paid for it. And that is why I'm here because time is important. And if I'm not making money doing something 
then I should be relaxing and doing stuff I enjoy. <laughs> but I love creating videos and I'd like it to be part of my art business down the road. So getting monetized, um, I know you guys probably hate watching the ads, but that's the only reason people create on here is because they could make an income from it and it helps everybody. It's a win-win because the creators can get paid for it and the people at home watching, it gives them some education, some inspiration, some entertainment. That's why it's here. So it's kind of a win-win for everyone. So um, hopefully in 2024, um, I will reach all those goals and get monetized this year and then I can continue to make more videos for you guys and hopefully uh, grow this channel into something really awesome. So yay! Thanks to everyone that subscribed and likes the videos and as a reminder you can go ahead and do that right now. Just hit that little subscribe button if you want and you can hit a like. You can leave me a comment because I love all that stuff. So please and thanks. Um, on top of YouTube, I'm super excited that I'm going to start a podcast as well. Because why not add more things? Um, but I thought if I start a podcast, um, I can talk about the stuff I want to talk about. I can have um, just my own thoughts, but I can also interview other women specifically. Um, I think my audience, if you're watching this, you're probably most likely in the States, but maybe from Canada or the UK or maybe some other parts of the world. And you're probably between the ages of 45 and 65. And those are the women that uh, tend to watch my videos. And those are also the women that I want to speak to because I'm also in that category. I'm in Canada, but I'm in that age, that age group. And I really want to interview other women that have started, um, created a life for themselves through art and creativity and they've built an income and they're full-time or even part-time um, creatives and artists that are making an income doing something that they love to do and I'd love to talk to them and interview them so that other people can hear how they did it and maybe get some inspiration and some information from them. So it's something I've wanted to do for a couple of years now and so I'm working on building a little podcast room um, and I will actually make a video on the making of that as well. But I'm excited, so stay tuned for that this year. Um, and I will be putting those in video form on my um, YouTube channel so that will um, help me put out at least one video a week, whether it's a podcast or something else that I've filmed. So fingers crossed. I can manage to do all that. I mean, you got to have goals. Otherwise, you won't ever accomplish anything, right? So that's exciting. And then sometime later in the year, I would like to um, create my own website. So I said I, I am selling on Etsy right now. And I have sold on Etsy since, I want to say 2016. I handmade, um, I did handmade stuff and I did vintage and this is the first time I've been selling my own art. Um, but I've been on there for a long time. But Etsy's changing a bit. And also for the future, I think I'd like to have more control over my my own website. And not leave it up to the fate of the Etsy gods. Whether my shop's going to get shut down or something. Um, and it would just be a nice place to kind of keep all my things. Where people can find all the things I maybe offer in one place. So... Um, that might be like a second half of the year kind of thing, but eventually would love to have my own website. So we'll see when I have the time for that. Um, and then in addition to um, offering my art for purchase, um, my goal is to put items or make items with my art on them. So I probably will start off with some print on demand stuff there, but I also would like to manufacture. I mean, I could start with stickers or greeting cards or like zippered pouches or tea towels or, I mean, there is an endless list of things, especially if you want to start with print on demand that you can put your art on. And I am going to have more videos about doing this because I think it's such an easy way for people to make money with their art without a lot of I wouldn't say there's effort involved, but it does become passive income once you get it all set up. 
just to maybe a little bit of customer service. And if anyone's interested in knowing how to do that, I do would love to make some more videos about that down the road. Um, so yeah, making products with my items on it so that people can buy them and use them. Um, what else do I have? Um, and another thing that I would really like to do is get my first art licensing deal in 2024. We'll see. Um, in September, I did take the Leverage Your Art program with Stacy Bloomfield, if anyone is um, familiar with that. So I'm part of her membership right now. Amazing. Um, really, really love that process. Sorry, my dog wants to say hi. Um, so uh, as I was saying, I did take Leverage Your Art and she talks about a lot of the ways how you can make money with your art by putting it on products and licensing and, and all that good stuff. And so I'm really getting a lot of inspiration out of that class. I have yet to implement a lot of it, but that's what I'm planning to do in 2024 um, is to work on my portfolio as well, which is, I guess, part of my, also starting a website, is to get like a portfolio together of my illustration work and possibly do some um, surface pattern design. That was another thing I wanted to learn to do more of this year was uh, surface pattern design. These are all the things I love that I'm interested in. Um, so, Fingers crossed, I might get my first licensing deal this year. Um, and then the last thing that I've been thinking about, and please comment below and let me know if you would be interested or what you think about it, is I was thinking about starting a membership for like-minded people like myself, like you if you're probably watching this still to the end, um, who Basically, women who are looking to start an income with their creativity and want to be inspired and create all the time and just um, get connected with other women who are doing the same and, you know, just grow a really cool little community where we're all helping each other, like, thrive, prosper, and create abundance for ourselves by creating and doing stuff that we love to do because... I think that's what it's all about. I think 2024 is going to be an amazing year. I'm really excited about it, actually. It's a number eight year, if anyone does numerology or any of that. So it's a great year for for outcomes and getting stuff done and just doing things and, and just, like, getting shit done this year. So I'm really excited about it. So those are all my goals. I hope I didn't ramble on too long for you, but um, I just wanted to put it out there, document for myself what I actually am committing to, and hopefully that I can uh, manage to do a lot of these things. And, and I'm excited. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments because I really love your comments. I wish people would comment more so we can you know chat a bit. But let me know what are some of your art or art business goals for 2024 and would you be interested in hanging out with me in a membership space where we can you know talk and learn and inspire each other so that's it from me to you uh happy new year happy 2024 and you know happy art making to all of you um i'm wishing you all a really really great year and I think that it's going to be good for all of us so that being said thanks so much for watching take care and we'll see you next time